Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and today we're back talking about exercise. Yesterday, we went through the science of why exercise matters, both mentally and physically. I was listening to the Happiness Lab with guest Jasmine Stanley, and Uh, She's like a curvy, love your body yoga instructor. And she said one word that totally clicked for me. She said the word movement. It's the idea that we can be happier through movement. Ah, movement. Maybe I can get behind this. It's a little reframing of my mind and a little tweak of the wording that really might make all the difference. The science is clear. We need to move. Movement will make us happier and healthier. So if you really don't want to run and you have no interest in jumping on the Peloton bandwagon, give yourself some grace and those types of movement are really just not for you or for me, if I'm being honest, right? So one way to have a healthy relationship with exercise or movement is to reframe the way that we think about this. So exercise for happiness can't be about fixing something. That's another aha moment. It can't be about body hating, body hating, <laughs> body hating. So many times we exercise to fix something, to tone something, to change something. And that's why tomorrow we're going to talk about how we find joy in the moving. Notice how I didn't say exercise. So until then, let's connect on social at Everyday Happiness with Katie and join the community on the hashtags intentional margins and Everyday Happiness with Katie on Instagram.